Have you ever wondered how a well-equipped military force could be defeated by what seemed to be a less organized group of warriors? Welcome to the enigma that is the Battle of Little Bighorn. Our story takes us back to the late 19th century, a time when the American frontier was a stage for conflict and change. On one side, we have Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer, a man with a reputation for recklessness and bravery, leading the 7th Cavalry. An elite force equipped with the latest military technology of the time. On the other side, an alliance of Lakota, Northern Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes. These were not simply an unorganized group of warriors. They were a people fighting for their land, their traditions and their way of life. This clash of cultures set the stage for one of the most intriguing battles in American history. Now let's dive into the events that led to this historic battle. Before the storm there was calm and before the battle there were decisions and strategies. In the heart of the American West, the Black Hills, a glimmering discovery was made. Gold, this precious metal's allure was irresistible, sparking a frenzy that would alter the course of history. And in the midst of this gold rush, the Native American tribes who called these lands home found themselves in the crosshairs of a government hungry for wealth. Orders were given for the tribes to relocate, to abandon their ancestral homes for the sake of progress, but these proud people, deeply connected to their lands, refused to be uprooted so easily. Their refusal, their stand for their homes and their dignity, was met with a military response. It was a call to arms that would ignite a conflict etched into the annals of history. And so, with the discovery of gold, the issuance of orders and the tribe's refusal, the prelude to battle was written. With all pieces set, the stage was ready for the Battle of Little Bighorn. On June 25th, 1876, under the vast Montana sky, the Battle of Little Bighorn began. Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer, a man known for his bravado and reckless courage, led the 7th Cavalry into a battle that would etch their names into the annals of history. The day was hot and the air heavy with anticipation. Custer, armed with his belief in the superiority of his troops, decided to divide his forces, a decision that would prove fatal. Little did he know he was grossly outnumbered. The Native American warriors, a combined force of the Lakota Sioux, Northern Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes, were not only fighting for their land, but also their way of life. Their numbers, estimated to be in the thousands, far exceeded Custer's diminished forces. As the battle unfolded, Custer's men were taken aback by the ferocity of the Native American warriors. Custer, however, remained steadfast, urging his men forward. But the sheer number of warriors was too much for the Seventh Cavalry. The Native Americans, led by legendary warriors like Crazy Horse and Sitting Bull, fought with a passion that was unmatched. They circled Custer and his men, their war cries echoing across the plains. It was a sea of warriors against a small island of soldiers. The outcome was inevitable. Custer, the man with the golden hair, stood tall, even as his men fell around him. He fought till his last breath, becoming a symbol of the bravery of the Seventh Cavalry. But bravery was not enough on that fateful day. The Battle of Little Bighorn was over almost as quickly as it began. The once green fields were now a testament to the bloodshed, littered with the bodies of Custer's men. The silence that ensued was only broken by the victorious cries of the Native American warriors. In less than an hour, Custer and his men were defeated, marking one of the most significant victories for the Native Americans. The Battle of Little Bighorn, a clash of cultures and strategies, ended with a surprising outcome. We've journeyed through the context of this historic event, understanding the tension between the Plains Indians and the United States government. We've dissected the prelude, witnessing the build-up, the strategies and the miscalculations. We've relived the battle, the chaos, the courage and the unexpected victory of the Plains Indians. In the immediate aftermath, the United States reacted with shock and grief, leading to an intensification of the Indian Wars. The battle was a turning point, stirring a newfound determination to confine Native Americans to reservations. Over time, it has been immortalized, becoming a symbol of resistance for Native Americans and a lesson of hubris for the military. The Battle of Little Bighorn, a tale of miscalculations and bravery, continues to echo through the annals of American history.